How's it going today, guys? Uh, playing the Burning Simulator game again, also known as Universe Sandbox. That's a horrible intro. <laughs> How's it going today guys? GMW Films here, bringing you guys a new video today. Now we're not doing the typical GTA roleplay, but today we're going to be doing something a little funner than that. Don't ever correct me that funner is not a word. Funner is a word. Shut your damn trap. We're going to open up the uh, typical solar system, and we're going to do something I saw from a documentary a long time ago. If you guys don't know what a pulsar is, a pulsar is a highly magnetized rotating neutron star that emits a beam of electromagnetic radiation. You do not want this thing in your solar system. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to shoot a pulsar over our solar system here. We're going to kind of see the gravitational influence it will have and see like what it kind of does to Earth. If we're living on Earth, you know, and a pulsar came over, this is what's going to basically happen. Realistically, kind of, somewhat realistically. So we're going to get a good uh, distance here. So we can kind of just show that the orbit, uh, we're going to kind of speed up time here. It's, so we're going years a second here. So yeah, it's the typical kind of orbit, you know, it's doing its regular thing. Wait a second. As you can see, it's like the regular cosmic traffic here, just the way uh, everything's going on here. It's, it's about accurate of uh, the orbits and whatnot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of not go too far away. See Pluto's out here. Everything's about in its rightful spot. I was messing with some stuff earlier. Some some stuff is out of, out of whack right now. But uh, we're going to come back here and we're going to open up a pulsar here. I'm gonna shoot random ass. We're gonna get a crab pulsar. And so this is not gonna be a typical pulsar we're gonna be launching. Uh, so we're gonna kinda just launch. We're gonna get a little far back. So this is kind of a far ways away. You think this is pretty close, but this is probably thousands. Yeah, this is a lot of astronomical. Yeah, it's six. What is that? Upside down. Six point something. That's almost seven astronomical units, which is pretty fucking far away. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of get a little further back and we're gonna get it and we're gonna shoot it now after we just shot this pulsar what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of mess with the physics of it so a pulsar is a big bright star here this is a very blue bright ball of basically fire and gas um, but it has a good gravitational influence and this thing is basically like if it came into our solar system it would basically disrupt all the gravitational um, influences the sun had. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this pretty freaking big. So we're going to make this, yeah, it's about 11, right, we're going to make this, okay, yeah, it's about 11,000 kilometers big. We're going to make this even bigger. Okay, okay, that's a little too big, I think. This is all 100,000, 115,000 kilometers wide. So in relation to the galaxy, it's still kind of a dot. So that, that's fine. A pulsar isn't that big. You, most pulsars, I'm pretty sure, are not that big. So now we're gonna watch the influence it has on our solar system here. Just shoot that baby. Oh my God, that thing's going fast. Okay, so yeah, that's going pretty fast. I didn't think it would actually go in that fast. So we're gonna look into the inner thing we're gonna pause this real quick so we can see uh, the average temperature of earth climate so it's about uh, regular uh, 58.4 Fahrenheit that's about average surface temperature of earth it doesn't really vary that crazy through climate but does casual plane just flying over my house okay we can see the crab pulsar is coming right in and immediately just made make make do a big turnaround it looks like wow this thing had a turn too look at this thing look at that it's insane uh what else gravitational influences have we changed here doesn't look like a whole lot's changed but as we can kind of see it's oh wait neptune actually might take oh neptune's gonna take the bait of that neptune is gonna probably change course Neptune, okay, Neptune doesn't give a fuck about the pulsar. It's like, fuck you. Yeah, pull, ne okay, that's surprising. Uh, Neptune didn't even care. All right, so as we're watching here, uh, Uranus is not doing anything either. Oh, okay, so I kind of missed it. The sun literally was moving towards the pulsar, messing up the orbits of everything else. So we're going to slow this down a bit. We're going to years a second here. So we're going to go days a second. So as we can see, uh, Mercury is off course. Earth is like, actually, Earth is fine. Earth is doing all right. You know, it's surface temperature is about normal. Um, I think it's keeping a good distance. 
The pulsar is coming in hot right now. Um, yeah, the sun. Oh, yeah, this is going to cause a supernova. I already know it. It's going to cause a supernova. Earth. Yeah, Earth has no idea what's going on. Earth is. Oh, Earth is curving towards the pulsar right now. Oh, yeah, up, supernova. Yep, Earth is now a big. Oh, my God. Earth just turned into a ball of fire. Where's Earth? Okay. Oh, Earth is gone. Oh my god, look at the planet. It's literally like glass. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So yeah, it's about 100,000 degrees Fahrenheit on Earth, which is about two times the temperature of the sun. Yep, just, oh, yep, yep, and it's gone. Uh, every course, every planet is now extremely, yeah, every, every planet's now a gas giant, basically just on fire, leaving the... Our once nice solar system. What happened to Mars? Mars probably got vaporized. I don't see Mars here. Mars. Yep. Okay, that's that's insane. Jupiter. I think Jupiter and... Wait, Jupiter and Saturn. Um, their distances saved them. But uh, yeah, they didn't get destroyed. But the same time, they were <laughs> vaporized, basically. Yeah, look at Saturn, how bright that is. That is really bright. Oh, my God. Beca basically became a star. That's insane. So we have three planets, so Saturn, uh, Neptune, and Jupiter are the only survivors, the only, basically, Hobian systems in the entire solar system. Oh, look at that. We actually turned, I think, is that a red dwarf? It is shooting out of existence. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Because of that supernova, it's like, I'm the, getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, as we can see, yeah, everything's just jutting outwards. So it's basically... The solar system we once knew and loved is just gone. Pluto is Pluto is on fire. Pluto is the hottest it's ever been, probably. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. It's like a lava planet. Look how cool that looks. Oh my god, that looks so cool. That looks amazing. So we're probably going to try with a bigger pulsar this time. And we're going to go... Um, I shot it directly into the solar system, which I said I wasn't going to do. But basically, we're going to do something uh, similar. All right, so now we're back to the regular boring old solar system here. Asteroid belt intact. All the planets' orbits are intact. Uh, where's Pluto? Pluto is still fucking in the middle of nowhere. Still made fun of. So what we're going to do now is we're going to launch a pulsar, but we're going to launch it off course. And we're going to kind of see if it has any gravitational influence. We're going to make it probably as big as it just was, about 115,000 kilometers wide. So we're going to launch it. Um... I don't know, maybe I should, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it around where Neptune is right now. I'm going to pause time, and I'm going to shoot it. That's a big ass. So we're going to mess with the pulsar a bit. Uh, surface temperature, how hot is it? So it's about 2, it's 2 million degrees Fahrenheit. You know, that's, that's about fair, right? Good temperature outside for your child's birthday party. You definitely would want to live there. All right, so radius, we're going to make this baby pretty big. 115,000 kilometers once again. So now we're going to launch this baby. All right. Now, so this thing is traveling pretty fast. Uh, how fast is this thing traveling? It's traveling at 10 kilometers a second. So that's, that's pretty insane. 10 kilometers in one second, this thing is moving right now. So the sun, the solar system is still a fair amount of time away, but we're actually moving at a day per second rate right now. So this is regular orbit here. We're going to kind of see what kind of uh, orbits this pulsar can do. Where's the pulsar? All right, the pulsar is pretty far out. I can't tell, but I think the sun is heading towards the pulsar right now. I think it's actually... Yeah, the, the gravitational influence is already starting, and it's how far away? How far are we, how far are we here? This... I don't know what the distance is. What we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to sit where the sun is, and... Um, we're going to kind of measure the sun's here and the pulsar is way out the distance to use 155 astronomical units away or should we say how it's about 3 million earths away and this thing is heading straight forward so we can definitely tell the pulsar has got some extreme gravity influences here the sun's predicted path is where's the sun going to go the sun looks like it's heading directly. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. It's going to meet the pulsar. You can see the sun's very attracted right now. It's 
It's like, hmm, look at that pulsar. Oh, look at the, it's curving. We're gonna just check on the Earth here. See, Earth is still going through. It looks like a relatively same uh, surface temperature, kind of varying from 50s to 60s. It's about average for the Earth. No other planets are really affected right now. Uh, looks like, wait, is Make Make going for it? I think Make Make's fine. Make Make is fine. Make Make Make's doing its own thing. Oh boy. Imagine living on Earth when a pulsar comes ripping through your freaking galactic neighborhood. Dude, you'd get fucked up. I think the pulsar is... Where's the pulsar going? Yeah, look at this. Everything's just getting moved around. Everything... Rel uh, however, everything is kind of staying the same. Um, wow, look at that. So we're moving back a days a second right here. And we're gonna just kind of see how much disruptions basically been happening. So, Earth's uh, surface temperature it looks like. Let's see, climate-wise, it's about doing the same. The Earth's orbit is about out of whack. It's trying to stay intact with the sun. I think it's relatively the same. Just the sun's been moving. Um, I think the sun's actually speeding up in speed. Yeah, it's about yeah 13.8 kilometers a second. So that's the sun is really horny for that pulsar right now. Gonna speed it up a little bit. Oh yeah, everything everything is following its trail now, yeah. And so the pulsar wasn't even really directly heading toward their uh, solar system either. It's just kind of passing by, but you can see the, the influence of it. It's amazing. Everything's trying to stay in its regular orbit. I think everything is actually doing fine in its orbits. Actually, no, 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 no. I lied. The uh, orbits are actually crossing. I think Earth might actually collide with the planet, it looks like. Yeah, but you can see the sun's path is really just messing everything up. So, oh, Saturn. Saturn's going for it. I think Saturn's... Yeah, Saturn's completely off course. It's completely distracted. Oh, see, the pulsar is actually... I think it looks like the pulsar is being influenced a bit. It just curved. It was going on a straight path before. Now, it's definitely curving. I think the sun's kind of... The sun is definitely uh, going for it. How are we doing here? Yeah, everything's messed up. All the orbits are messed up. Oh, Earth almost just followed Mars to its death. Saturn. I wonder if it's going to in intercept Saturn's orbit again. Is there any planets that haven't really been affected? Pluto probably has no fucking idea what's going on. Where's Pluto go? There's Pluto. Yeah, Pluto is going right for the pulsar, it looks like. Oh, yep. Pulsar just took Quayawar. Uh, I have no idea how to say that. Yeah, look at this. The, even the asteroid belt's falling too. Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter's keeping a, keeping its uh, keeping its herd of asteroids intact somewhat. Oh, I think it's yeah. It looks like it's colliding a little bit. They're definitely they're definitely going off course. Everything's completely out of whack right now because of that pulsar. Um. Yeah, Pluto, Pluto's now gone. Pluto's just like, all right, fuck this place. You know, I'm done. So we're going to just kind of speed it up and see what happens. So the Pulsar is now leaving the galaxy, it looks like. As you can see, it's just a absolute astronomical disaster here. Just look at this. The sun is completely out of whack. This is just a disaster. Look at Jupiter. Jupiter has no idea how to get into this. Oh, yeah, it's entering now the... Uh, this is a disaster. Let's pause it really quick. How is Earth doing? Earth is, uh, I think Earth's doing fine. Yeah, it's about normal. Yeah. So basically, the Earth would just be seeing some crazy shit right now. Like, if we actually go up to where the Earth is right now, if we kind of watched from Earth's perspective a little bit, um, yeah, we're just getting flung around like fucking crazy. We're just going to slow it down a little bit. All the planets are definitely <laughs> out of whack here. Looks like Earth might ado adopt some asteroid children here. Yeah, the orbits are relatively the same. I mean, they're not doing too bad. I don't know if they'll ever collide. Uh, if any plants will collide here. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job of not colliding. So the pulsar is basically gone. And with the pulsar, it actually took Saturn and Pluto off course. Uh, let's we speed it up even more. We'll see more uh, orbital stuff here. Yeah, so it looks like Pluto and Saturn and possibly Neptune are now leaving the galaxy. 
This is just a crazy simulation of what a pulsar could do if it ever came near us. I mean, really anything could happen. Uh, we could have just like a black hole come beside us at any point. You know, it's, it's crazy, but no, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do enjoy these Universe Sandbox videos, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any suggestions too for the channel for me to do in this game or another game, just leave a comment down below. Let me know. Follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash jmwfilms underscore yt. And check out my other social medias down below. I also have a Patreon. And thanks for watching today's video, guys.